Right now, the state of Utah is able to buy critical gear for people on the front lines of the COVID-19 pandemic, all with help from Utah's tech sector. Fox 13's Haley Higgins looks into the role private companies are playing in public health. Well, the first of three shipments of personal protective equipment, or PPE, came into Salt Lake City today from Shanghai, China. In the belly of this chartered Delta flight straight from China, Dozens of boxes of critical PPE, goggles and N95 masks, gowns and face shields will come later. As you know, we're preparing for the worst. We're hoping for the best, and the good news is our trend is going in the right direction. Governor Gary Herbert says the state has either acquired or put in orders for about 30 million PPE items for hospital workers and first responders. Um, we are fighting an invisible enemy that has destroyed lives and destroyed our economy. And uh, in that sense, this is very much a Dunkirk moment. With PPE in high international demand, about 90% of the items acquired by the state came with help from local businesses. In this case, the founder of Domo reached out to a BYU grad with a clothing factory who had connections to PPE manufacturers in China. And it's really like a wartime environment, guys. This is, uh, this is no joke. The state website built by Silicon Slopes companies is testing about 1,500 Utahns a day. In less than two weeks, 70,000 people have been assessed with a goal of 3,000 tests per day. Um, getting more access to PPE um, allows us to uh, increase locations and increase testing capacity and really work toward getting people back to work. Well, the boxes containing the PPE will be sent to the Salt Palace, where they then will be distributed across the state. Reporting at the Salt Lake City International Airport, Haley Higgins, Fox 13 News, Utah.